Match number four is our lightweight division, 150 to 159 pounds. Richie Redman is going up against Salvador Domasian. Richie Redman, of course, we discovered him in the URCC Bacolod. He did really well there, dominating the fight from Bacolod. And of course, we have Salvador Badong Domasian. Now, Badong Domasian has no wins in MMA yet, but all of the people he's fought were foreigners. He fought the Chinese fighter. And he fought the training partner of Quinton Rampage Jackson. Exactly. Yeah, I Zach remember Light. that. Yeah. So we'll see how he does against a fellow Filipino. We'll see. Because during the, the last fight with Zach Light, he broke his arm while punching. So hopefully he will he'll do better now. They also want to see how the Iloilo fighter does. Oh, oh nice, nice take down. Nice take down by Richie Redman. Okay. It's really fast, huh? Salvador actually going for an omoplata. Okay. Mm -hmm. Decides to put him back in the guard. Richie Redman, incidentally, coming off a loss. He fought in URCC Cebu. He pretty much was dominating the whole fight, but then later on he got caught. All right, from here, um, Badong is controlling Richie Redman in, in his guard. Okay, Richie Redman's more of a ground and pound fighter, for those who aren't familiar with Richie. So. This position is really the best for him. Yes, this is where he wants to be. Well, Badong, of course, doesn't want to be here. He'd rather strike. Being from the Elorde stable, yeah. these guys can punch. But as you can see, Elorde fighters are grappling also. Yeah. With the control of Badong. The Elorde fighters have really stepped up their game. Okay, Richie trying to pass there, trying to bulldoze him. They're going to be moved to the center of the ring again by referee uh, Chris Wong. Wong. Okay, if you notice, the referee makes sure that the fighters are reset in the exact same position when they were stopped to make sure there's no unfair advantage for either fighter. Okay, the left leg, yeah, it should be in between the Richie Redman's thighs. See how precise the referee does these things. The slightest, you know, the slightest move or anything like that yeah. gives them an unfair advantage. Exactly. Okay, so we're back at the same position. What Badon can do here is sweep from this position so he'll end up on top. Or push away Richie Redman so he can stand back up and strike with him. Yes, um, Richie Redman's putting his weight on Badong, but he's not striking effectively. Yep. Uh, so you can see, guys, the hips of Badong are is really dead so he has to move it around use his legs to create some space okay, but Richie Redmond's keeping his weight on, on Badong so okay, let's hope Badong tries to you know try to figure out a win here he's winless in MMA but remember his two fights one was against China where he was actually doing well until his hand broke and the other one was exact against Zach Light where he did pretty well he struck with Zach Light, and Zach Light didn't want to have anything to do with him in the stand-up department. He took him down. Same thing with Richie Redman. Oh, this time, Badong sprawls, and he gets Richie Redman in the mount. Look at this. There you go. He can end this fight in any second now. With this is the first position for Richie to be in. Mounted by Badong, and Badong... You don't want to be underneath those exactly. LRD enemy fighters. Wow. Okay. Well, Richie Redman's pretty tough, though, so... Okay, he's turning out... He turned around. Idea. Classic. Will he get all the way okay. down? Yeah. And Salvador Badong Domasian gets his first MMA victory in the URCC. Okay, here we go. He started punching him. Richie Redmond turned around. Then he sank in a rear naked choke. Avoiding Richie Redmond's first fight ever in the URCC. Very good submission. At least in the main events. Yeah. Very good submission for Badong. From an order.